Welcome to Working with Big Data Live Lessons, where I'll cover infrastructure, algorithms, and visualizations. My name is Paul Dix, and I'll be your instructor. I'm a co-founder of Airplane, a service that helps you instrument and track your applications and infrastructure so you can get alerts when exceptions, errors, or noteworthy conditions occur. I'm also the organizer of the New York City Machine Learning Meetup, which has over 2,600 members. I'm the author of Service-Oriented Design with Ruby and Rails, and have been a speaker at multiple conferences, including RubyConf, RailsConf, GoRuco, and Web 2.0. I've been working with Big Data since 2007, building recommendation systems, search engines, analytics infrastructures, and time series visualizations. In these live lessons, I will give you a high-level overview of Big Data and take you through using some of the specific tools. My goal is to provide an introduction to the three areas of big data, infrastructure, algorithms, and visualizations. Our goal is not to be exhaustive, but rather to give you a higher level view of how all the pieces of a big data architecture work together and how to manage working with a big data processing pipeline. While most of the code examples will be in Ruby or JavaScript, the methods can be applied with almost any programming language. In fact, for many big data problems, it makes sense to use different programming languages at different levels of the stack. So even if you're a Python, Scala, Node, or Clojure programmer, these live lessons should still apply to your environment and be easy to adapt to the language you're most comfortable with. Let's talk about the specific lessons. In lesson one, we'll go over unstructured storage and batch processing. I'll introduce one of the core building blocks of any big data infrastructure, Hadoop. We'll set up Hadoop and use it for processing text data. In lesson two, we'll move to structured storage. We'll set up Cassandra for real-time storage and retrieval and model data in its column-oriented database. In lesson three, we'll look at real-time processing. I'll cover how a messaging system fills this role in a big data infrastructure. We'll set up Kafka, an open source messaging system, and write code to publish and subscribe to messages from the service. In lesson four, we'll look at running machine learning algorithms in a big data architecture. We'll implement k nearest neighbors and use it to predict which tags a Stack Overflow question should have. In lesson five, I'll expand on the algorithms from the previous lesson and talk about how to run them in production. This includes hooking into the messaging system, updating as new data becomes available, and experimenting with updates to the algorithms themselves. In lesson six, our final lesson, I'll go over some basic visualizations and introduce D3, a powerful JavaScript toolkit for building visualizations in the browser. Thanks for joining me in these live lessons. I hope you'll enjoy the videos and get a good overview of the how, when, and why of working with big data.